Well, let's talk about making sure you're smart and healthy. So here's an interesting subject. Well, we can't avoid it, and you may be going through it now, or someday your time will come. It's called menopause. But what can we women do to help these changes that we're going through and how they affect us? Well, joining us now is Dr. Jennifer Berman, who is a urologist and sexuality expert, and she also has a television series on Discovery Health Network called Berman and Berman. And she's here to help educate us on this subject matter. So thank you for joining us, thank Dr. Jennifer Berman. Me. I appreciate Thanks. that. Now, first of all, when it comes to um, menopause, I mean, for me, it's like menopause, <laughs> you know, a scary thing. But, but how does um, menopause affect our hormone levels? Well, what happens when a woman becomes menopausal is that your ovaries stop making estrogen, progesterone, mm -hmm. and testosterone that you stop ovulating, so to speak, so you don't get a period anymore, which is the good thing. Yeah, that's a plus. The bad part is, is the symptoms that are associated with that, which include hot flashes, night sweats, memory changes. Women will say that they feel more foggy, mood, they become more irritable and short-fused, sleep disruption, weight gain, You're low like libido. You're for me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, no, but it's, it, it, you know, it, in years past, we had to suffer through it. Uh -huh. And, you know, this is what happens to you when you age and be done with it. Right, right now, this, this new age of baby boomers are, are, take, are advocating for their, for their health and their wellness and want to live happier, healthier, sexually fulfilled mm -hmm. lives. And this is where the subject of hormones and hormone balance and all these medications to treat menopausal symptoms come into play. Okay, well, let's talk about these hormone therapies. I know there's some new studies that recently came out where there were following women um, who were taking hormone replacement therapy versus women who didn't. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about how these hormones can help a woman mm -hmm. stay better in balance. The well, I'll get to the, the okay. issue about the prior studies, but it, in my practice, and there's a growing body of evidence that suggests that hormone imbalance begins before menopause, okay. when we're in our late 30s, ah, early 40s, no. okay. and we start to experience subtle symptoms, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more moody, mm -hmm. maybe a little more PMS, maybe some libido changes, maybe some fatigue, subtle symptoms. That's really the time when um, it's important to start initiating therapy. Once you get to the point where you're in full-blown menopause with a hot flash tonight and about mm -hmm. to shoot your husband, it's not too late, <laughs> but it, it's more challenging. Okay. Now, in terms of the prior studies, those, they were all sort of confined to um, oral hormones, Prempro, which was a synthetic form of estrogen and progesterone. Okay, so it's a pill that you would take. It was a pill. We do not give estrogen orally anymore for a number of, of medical and okay. risk reasons. The other thing is, is that in the studies of women on estrogen alone, there was no increased risk of breast cancer. So it's not estrogen that causes breast cancer to grow. It was the combination of estrogen plus the synthetic form of progesterone. So the consensus is now that in women that are symptomatic, mm -hmm. that do not have a, a, fa a significant family history of breast cancer, are candidates for hormone replacement therapy. Okay. And that includes estrogen, progesterone, testosterone for okay. libido. Okay, yeah, libido, that's an important subject. So with hormone replacement, it can potentially decrease your, those hot flashes um, um, and risk of osteoporosis. And then we also have incidents of uh, uh, colon cancer. So it can help. It, can, it, it helps not only the symptoms that we talk about, but there are other. There's cardiovascular benefits. Mm -hmm. There is uh, um, muscle changes, lean okay. muscle mass versus fat mass, metabolism changes, okay. skin, hair, nails. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of benefits. Well, Dr. Jennifer Berman, we will be, I'll be seeing you pretty soon. <laughs> but on that note, you're actually here in the Valley for an event that's taking place tonight at 7, I think. Tell me about yes, this. Yes, at Fascinations. Mm -hmm. And um, this is really exciting because, you know, I as a doctor promoting sexual health, mm -hmm. uh, promoting the medical aspects of sexual health, am, am now talking about about non-medical alternative options using erotic toys, erotic aids, lubricants such mm -hmm. as Wet. There's a fabulous uh, product okay. out there called Wet Synergy. Well, well Dr. Jennifer Berman, I, we've got to go. I'm getting a really hard rep. I could talk to you forever <laughs> about this subject matter. But okay. it's tonight at 7. We'll have all the information on our website. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. you.